everyone, welcome back to Art of La Carte. A while ago I posted this picture that I did on my Instagram and I got a lot of response on asking how to do this. So I thought I would do a tutorial to show you how quick and easy it is to make this piece. So the first thing you'd want to do is to look through and find um, a good reference photo of different seashells if you don't have some of your own. I love collecting seashells um, when I go to the beach, um, but I haven't gone in quite a while. This one I did was kind of a, the round shell. So this time I want to do kind of one of these flat like clam shells looking things. So I want to find a nice reference photo for that. Um, Any one that you want to use will be great. So next I have this piece of watercolor paper that I have cut to a little square shape and you could have this whatever size you want. And then I'm going to take a pencil and just sketch in my design. Thing is, is I don't want to go too close to the border so I want to make sure that I keep my design relatively in the middle leaving a good even shape on all four sides. So for this clam shape I'm going to have almost like this circle kind of coming around here but it's going to be more like a fan. And right down in the center, it's going to come. So it's kind of like this rounded fan shape. And then it has like the hinge of the shell, which kind of comes out over the sides. And I'm just going to very carefully put in the grooves for the sides of the shell. And the more attention to the detail that you have for this, the better your piece is going to look. So that's why I like to do this in pencil first, then I can kind of fix things up if I need to. Now I'm drawing with a blue color pencil, but you could use any kind of just regular drawing pencil that you'd like. It's all just fine and dandy. You can also sketch this out on another piece of paper and then transfer it over onto this paper if you want to do that as well. Now I have mine a little off-centered. I'm going to put a pearl right over here. So I'm going to draw in a nice circle right there for my pearl. That's going to balance my picture off just a bit. Once you have the design in the way that you like it, then I'm going to take an ink pen and ink this in. So I use a Sakura Micron. It's got archival ink and it's also permanent. for some added detail in here instead of just drawing these grooved lines in I'm going to take and just begin applying some dots to add in some texture and shadowing. The closer I put my dots together the darker the shadow is going to be so then the farther the dots are the lighter the shadow is going to be. use color pencils, watercolor, markers, whatever you want. Um, and you're going to begin just adding some very light pastel colors. You don't want to have this super duper bold for this effect.
and don't be afraid to mix mediums up. So I use a little bit of marker, I can use a little watercolor, go back over with Copic pencils. Just because it's a different medium doesn't mean art supplies can't be friends. pearls you're going to want to use some really light colors to just shade it. A little bit goes a long way. Also don't be afraid if you go outside of the lines because what we're going to do at the end is color this in all black. That's really going to pop this shell out. After you have the piece colored in the way you like it, now it's time to add that black background. And there's lots of ways that you can do that. Almost all of us have a black Sharpie marker and you could use that to color in. A nice one is to get some Indian ink and a brush and paint it in. Or you can use like a really nice black marker as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the nice black Indian ink because it gives me a really nice dark shade. Now this part you do want to be a little bit more careful and not let the paint go up over the shell but just right up next to it. You're outlining it and pulling it back. I'm just going to outline it and push that background. You're also going to want to make sure that your paints aren't wet because if it is, it's going to pull your Indian ink in there. So we'll see if we can fix that in a little bit. So make sure everything is nice and dry. So we'll paint out here until we know that it's really dry. It's very humid in my studio today. So my inks are not drying as fast as they normally do. So it's causing me a little bit of difficulty, but I think that shadow actually looks kind of cool. So as my very first art teacher said, we don't make mistakes, we make happy accidents. And if you know who I just quoted, you get extra bonus awesome points for knowing the artist I just quoted. Let me know in the comments if you know who that was, who said that. I love painting with Indian ink because it has such a nice, dark, vibrant color. And it really, a little goes a long way. But you can see as you get it right up close to this house, it's just gonna pop this shell forward and really make it look cool. You also see I have a mat underneath my drawing. That's if any ink gets off on the side. I'm not messing up my art table. So you wanna make sure you have some sort of mat or an extra piece of paper or maybe some newsprint underneath your work. to keep everything nice and clean and tidy. So now the final step is to add in any little embellishments or decorations. So one, if you have a white color pencil, you can go through here and kind of just give a little outline or extra shines to things, lighten things up. You can put some dots or swirls in here, however you want, extra highlights on things. That works really good. Or you can use a jelly roll. I use a Signa Uniball. you decorate it's going to totally change this up but these pieces are really fun to do so you can really see that however you decorate this really can make it very fun I like to take these and maybe glue them onto a little card or even put them in a tiny little frame they're super super adorable this one here actually took a glitter nail polish and painted over the top of it to add a little glitter and now that you can see it there's a little bit so like I said mixed medias are fun to play with 
If you like this video, hit it with a thumbs up or let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to this channel, well, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Pencil and some paper and the best part is having lots of fun with